Today, let us read through Revelations 12, 1 to 17, and meditate on the image of Mary that is evoked. We have already heard that she reflects the light of the sun and wears a crown of 12 stars. She stands on the moon and crushes the serpent. What picture do we have of Mary as we read this passage? How does it differ from other images we might have of Mary? Mother, apostle, Christ bearer, intercessor, virgin, educator, protector. In fact, these images are all very different, but they all have one thing in common. Mary's life is one of constant service to God the Father. She is completely in tune with God's will for humanity. Because of this, there is no conflict within her. She exudes peace, gentleness, love, perseverance, joy, and purity. These are all characteristics of her inner beauty. This is the beauty of heaven and reflects the beauty of God's all-encompassing love for his creation. Father Kentenich urges us to reflect on the Blessed Mother's inner beauty, that it may serve as encouragement for us, that we too may desire to follow, to allow God to fill us with his eternal love, a love that ch changes everything. Father Kentnich says, the mother of God stands before us in all her lily-like purity and beauty as the reflection of eternal beauty. But Our Lady is perfect beauty because her entire virginal personality exemplifies the original God will order of human nature. And this order shines out radiantly from her image. We are beautiful when our souls are beautiful. The soul is beautiful when it is completely directed towards God and the div divine. Then the whole person is beautiful. Is my soul beautiful? Do I reflect inner beauty? Am I a source of peace and joy to those I meet? Do I treat all people with loving respect, regardless of who they are? Let us pray. Mother Mary, Mother of eternal beauty, let me become more like you. Change my heart so that it can become more open to God, who desires above all else to show the immense love he has for me. Teach me to become pure in my thoughts and actions. Amen.